This week on our farm in Portugal, we get stuck into upcycling, using some of the treasured old parts of the wine farm to create new members of the newbie household that we have no doubt will bring us many happy memories for years to come. And if you've been following our journey from the start, you'll know we've had some dramas with our off-grid water system. Well, with some great ideas from family from afar, we try to fix it without the help of a plumber. This could go horribly wrong. We are the newbies, John, Tara and Crusoe. And we've been living an extraordinary life, committed to making our minutes and seconds count. For the last two years, we've been living in vans and travelling the world. Something's just happened. I think, I could be wrong, but I think there's two countries. Crusoe has already been to 23 countries on four continents. We have fed giraffe, faced down elephants, kayaked with humpbacks, and played with meerkats. We've taken some of the world's greatest hikes, visited the world's greatest cities and seen some of nature's greatest spectacles. We even got married by a penguin, but that's another story. Now it's time for our biggest challenge yet. We've bought an abandoned farm in northern Portugal and our mission is to turn the overgrown wreck into an off-grid sustainable place that we can call home. Join us and follow our journey. Be brave, think big, explore. Okay. Darling, what's going on? I think I have an idea. All right. You know how we were talking about the fact that we wanted a nice big table? Yeah. Out in the courtyard? Yeah. Would that work? What have we got? Yeah, look at that. I was thinking that could be the, the tabletop. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure it's an old part of this like wine press, which is so cool. Yeah. If we sanded it down, varnish and what have you, make it weatherproof All anyway right. i thought that'd be cool and look at this legs legs yeah i like it what they're like huge it? yeah we wanted a nice big like rustic table for that courtyard. for the courtyard yeah wouldn't that be perfect that uh, it's absolutely perfect love it okay and uh, yeah a little bit of repurposing going on here yeah all right i wanted to dig this out so that i could get some lettuce in there okie doke Okay, whatever kind of table it's going to be, it's going to be a very heavy table. Okay. Uh, okay, 145 square, I guess. 140. 145, 140. So okay. we need, actually we don't have all the pieces of wood we need. We're going to need some wood for the side bits. But we've definitely got four legs there, don't we? Yep. Yeah. We've definitely got four legs. Okay, um, so that's it. And then... I don't know what we do down this uh, this little middle bit, but I'm sure we can think of something fun to do that. Yep. How do they feel? Really solid, man. I think they're pieces of oak. God, darling, this is so lucky. Whoops. Projects talked about this in one of their videos, which is where we learned about Max Matt, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Thanks very much. Indie They've Project. got um, dreadful music in here. But anyway. Crusoe and I kicking it. <laughs> Are you finding what we're looking for? I've got screws. Okay, well, that's a good start. You said circular saw. You said sander. Also frustrating is all of this kit. You know, it's in a shed in the UK waiting to be used because we decided not to drive down here. We don't have a car in the UK. Like, we're, when we worked out how much it costs to drive down... Oh, I mean, anyway, these are cheap compared to the drive. Um, French tolls alone, epic. So we need one of these. Okay. We've got a drill already. We could do with a circular saw. We might need some more of the six, what P, two P50s, two, two 120s, the one in the end. That looks about the right size. I think that's all we really need for it. A couple of screws. Wax. 
and wax. I'm so excited about this project. I think it's going to be one of our favourite things on the whole farm because I just love that we found that wood in the garage and um, oh, it's going to give it a new lease on life. Okay, anyway, let's, let's um, go for it. Right, we need drill bits. Because we're not going to be able to drill screws directly into that oak wood. I think it's oak anyway, we'll see. But we're definitely, so we're going to have to drill it before we screw it. We'll take a couple of those because it's definitely going to snap. It could be linseed oil as well. Good, uh, good oil or a good wax. Agua protect. Mm. We want something very, <coughs> yeah. We want something natural that we can just pour on it and it yeah. soaks in. I just heard John talking like he's found someone he knows. Go find out. Tell you what, it's another stroke of luck. The person that John had just bumped into is the plumber's wife. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's <good. laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, so apparently they'll be able to come and see us towards the end of the week. So that's great. So we can get our water fixed. Um, we that's can't find any wood. oak wood in the shop, which is very frustrating. But we could do pine and stain it. It's just for the bits that go around the bottom of the table to kind of hug the legs in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Off she goes. I've got Crusoe, so um, obviously uh, can't carry anything. Oh, yeah. Obrigado. <laughs> Come on then. So yesterday, our little excursion to the shops to go and get the stuff we needed for the table actually ended quite late. So we didn't get anything done when we got home. We just kind of called it a day. Um, although we are feeling a little all a bit jaded this morning because we went out last night for dinner. Took Crusoe, not usually something that we do. We don't usually go for late. In fact, we never go for late nights out. But we went for dinner with some friends and um, there was a fun fair in town. So <laughs> Crusoe had his first ever ride on a merry-go-round. He wasn't... Um, delighted and we're all a bit tired and he's definitely quite grumpy today it's one of those days but we are so excited to get started on this table project cannot wait to see how it's going to turn out Following the very solid advice from quite a lot of you guys, uh, we've gone out and invested in masks and safety gear. So I'm going to be sanding those down now. Now, the point with this is that actually looking at it now, perhaps I should have bought an electric plane and just woof straight off the top. It'd be done in no time at all. But I have a suspicion that that would take a little bit of the, the age and a little bit of the love away from these pieces of wood. So. I'm gonna belt sand them down. I'm gonna have a look at what's there. And if it is truly gnarly, I'm gonna go back to the shop and I'm gonna get a plane or I'm gonna have another go. Safety first. The way 
way that these pieces of wood have been stored in that uh, in that garage it's not a garage it's a wine making place but the way that they've been stored means that one end is a lot better than the other you know one end is a bit damp and it's got obviously some problems with it and the other end is a little bit nice obviously i'll be chopping both and taking the leg from the middle bit but uh just to look Piece of wood, isn't that lovely, eh? Dad? Yeah? Dad? Yeah, and have a look. No, I think those are going to come up just fine, no plane required. That's great news. Yeah, that is great news. Beautiful. Hey, what's that? What's that? Okay, so this piece of wood here is the last piece that I've got to do. And it looks really gnarly at the moment. There's a lot of woodworms been in there. Uh, it looks pretty horrible. We'll see what we can do with it though. I think that turned out pretty okay. Take a look. Are you pleased, Dad? I'm really pleased with them, yeah. Oh my gosh, they look beautiful, don't they? Mm. They look good as new, that's amazing. Yeah, there's some like woodworm tracks in a few of them, um, but I'm pretty sure the woodworm has gone a long time ago. Okay. Um, you know, woodworm likes to have damp wood. Yeah. These will be super dry wood fairly soon, and it just adds to the the character of the leg. I think it's part of the story, isn't it? Mm. We've just put Crusoe down to sleep. Good. It looks like a noisy power tool. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, I'll give it a break. Sorry. Should we paint? Yeah, let's paint. So yesterday at Maxmat, sadly, they didn't sell oak. So we went with pine to go around the, like, I don't know what the, uh, the underneath, like around the legs. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that bit's called on a table. But anyway, you'll know what we mean shortly. It's a way to try and hide the pine. We're going to paint it yellow. And then we're going to try and tie that colour in with the tiles that we're going to find to go in that little gap in the tabletop. It'll tie in nicely with the Mediterranean yellow underneath and we should have quite a happy, smiley table. That'd be lovely. I can, I can already picture it. I can already picture it too. So this is the colour we've chosen. I'm really excited. Let's have a look. that that yellow isn't quite bright enough. We'll see. I think it's spot on. 
Sometimes I think it would be more helpful for me to be helpful rather than stand and film. It's heavy, man. Look at this. I think that's snail it's tracks. It's all just snail trails. Amazing. You're on a, quite a journey, Mr. Table. It's going to be so lovely, darling, isn't it? That is, eh? So excited. So what are we going to do? Like, it's all a bit higgledy piggledy and not square. And it's a look here. What are we going to do about those edges? Personally, I think I'd just leave them. I think it's all part of the character. It doesn't have so? to be perfect. I think it just needs to be sanded and oiled and given a bit of love and cleaned up, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't cut all. What do you think if we pressure wash it first? Probably could do with a... Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll sand it. And then I'll pressure wash both sides um, and we'll see where we are. Can I get going or I've got to wait for Crusoe? Wait for Crusoe, that's okay. Okay. How's it going? It goes okay. I've got a wife telling me that the table lengths are, uh, table legs are different lengths. Well, what do you think? All right, I take it back. Yeah, going okay. So what I've basically done is we've got these supports for the tabletop underneath and I'm chopping them so that we can get a the yellow bit of wood that we painted earlier on all the way around the outsides two more legs to do so I'm taking out a bit of the a bit of the table leg right here so that it goes over the top of the the table supports it'll fit in really nicely and when it's all tied together it's going to be really solid and strong Goodness. Yeah, what do you think? It's got legs. It's got legs. It's looking a bit rough and ready still. <laughs> is um, it ever not going to look rough and ready? I yeah, think it's part sure. of the story, well, isn't it? It's part of the story, but it's going to look really great when it's finished. I've got to straighten up the legs a little bit. They're just there uh, wobbling around at the moment, but that's uh, that's just to get it upright so we can sand the, the tabletop. I didn't want to sand it on the floor. I've got old man's bad back. Fair enough. Yeah. So, are you going to put it on its feet? Yeah, I'm going to try. I might need some help. We're going to lean it here, okay? And then we're both going to lift it from the bottom and turn it over. Okay. Okay, it's heavy, but it's if, if you can't do it, don't worry about it. We'll, okay. I'll find a different way. Alrighty. Should be okay. I'm going to have to put the camera down. Yeah. So things went a little dark on the filming front at this point. Crusoe, bless him, is teething, so needs a little more of mum's time than usual. And we still had some water dramas ongoing, which meant we were all a bit distracted. But more on that shortly. This is what we've ended up with. It's a solid table, that's for sure. I'm pleased about that because sometimes you put legs on tables and they don't end up as solid and straight and strong as you'd hope for. But this table has gone together really, really strong. We're fairly sure that this black stuff on the top that I've been sanding most of the way is red wine. This was in the press inside the, the not garage, shall we call it. Um, and as I've been taking it off, it, it really feels like dried up red wine. Now, what we're left with, <clears throat> as the wood dries out, is these big gaps, look, here and here. These are horrible gaps, and we've got a couple of choices. We can either take each of these planks off of the, off of the tabletop, plane down the sides so that they're flat and butt them together and make it all nice and smooth and perfect looking, or we can leave the gaps like they are and find a solution to fill them. So what I found, and I, this, is a, this is an experiment, this is how we're doing it, not how you should do it. And sometimes how we do things is completely wrong. And if you've got some comments or some ideas or some thoughts on what we're doing here, um, let us know. You might like it, you might dislike it, doesn't matter. We'd love to hear from you either way. I'm going to put this stuff here, 11FC. It's a black bonding Sigaflex. 
I think it's used for roof tiles and other things. So it's a bit of a risk, but it, it's black, which I think is the right color for this table. And it expands and shrinks by 35%. I'm hoping that it's gonna look good. What do you think, darling? I am very unsure about the black stripes, but I trust you. Okay, one thing I will say about this stuff is gloves. It goes everywhere. Okay. Ooh, interesting. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work too. This Sigaflex is gonna cure, it's gonna dry. I'm expecting it to dry a rubbery matte black, kind of like a squash ball black. Um, and then what we're gonna do is sand it. So it comes flat. Nice. And it, you'll only see it where the gaps are. I cool. hope anyway. Okay. So that's, that's kind of the plan. Okay, big moment. It has been 24 hours since John put the Sigaflex in the gaps between the planks on the table and he is just about to start sanding it to see whether or not that was a good idea. So, moment of truth. Has it all been worth it? I think so. I, I hope so. I, hope I trust so. you, darling. <laughs> I think it's going to be good, but right, let's, let's see. So you can see a little bit of what's going on here. So everybody likes a before and after shot. This is the before with the Sigaflex. And as we start to sand, it's starting to look a little bit more like this. I'm really hoping it's gonna work. So we had the most exciting morning this morning because on this field behind me, Maria, our wonderful neighbor, showed us that we have yet another source of water and a pipe coming through onto this field, which means that we could grow things here. And we were so excited. Anyway, since then, a couple of hours later, John, having been sanding the table, it's absolutely filthy, and wanted to have an outdoor shower. <laughs> Turns out we have no water. Something with us moving this pipe down here and making water come out has meant that we have got no water coming onto our property anymore. So our tank isn't filling, the outdoor shower is not working, there's no water coming into the trough. And we have no idea what's going on. The only thing we can think, because as far as we can see, the spring at the top and the well are still running and it all looks completely normal. We cannot see any leaks. It's not John's dodgy plumbing. The only thing that we can think is that maybe by disturbing this pipe here, we've caused an airlock in the system. So, having been waiting for the plumber to be able to come and see our leaking wall for a couple of weeks, we've now sent him a slightly more urgent message to say, any chance you could pop round today because um, we have no water. But it's all fun and games, you know? You get good and you get bad. And it's not that bad. We've got enough water for today. Um, which is important because it's currently 32 degrees heading up towards 34, so it is hot and <laughs> we just need water. So fingers crossed we're going to get sorted. As you can hear in the background, John is sanding away in frustration. How are we doing, darling? Did you find the plumbing problem? I know. <laughs> so I text Philly. Okay, has he replied? Uh, let's have a look. No, not yet. Okay. Well, there is water. There's lots of water coming. So I, I'm not worried about water, like that there's no water left on the property. Although that, you know, ultimately that could be a real concern. But yeah. I, I really think that there's, there's a lot of water here because it's coming out of other pipes. So it must be an airlock. I don't know. What do you think? I think it must be. It has to be. I hate plumbing. Full stop, capital letter. What I do like and what I know I have control over is wood. I really do like messing around with a, little, uh, with, a, with a good piece of wood. There it is. What do we think? I think that has come out jolly well indeed. Yeah, I think that's all right, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it? Look at the lines where the Sigaflex went in. So this is, a, this is um, uh, 11FC I used, um, which is like a rubber. So I knew that it would go in there and it would be rubbery. 
Oh, it looks like floorboards now, doesn't it? Yeah, really? it does. It's got heaps of character, which is exactly what we wanted. It's yeah. not like overly precious. So like you say, it can live outside. And it's got a story to tell. And we still have some of the wine stains. Yeah, that was important. I love it. Well done, my love. Let's let it dry. So now we need it to dry and then we'll oil it and move it into place. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so we may not have water, but we have got watermelon. I've been meaning to cut it up for ages, so I'm going to tackle it now. Try and get some in the freezer so that we can have watermelon lollies. Does that sound nice? <laughs> Oh, baby. Love you. Nearly final stage. Yeah, well, we got... Final maybe... stage of the top anyway, isn't it? Yeah, there's going to be a lot to do to make it the table that we want it to be. Um, but this is... We, we think it's linseed oil. But anyway, it's kind of some kind of oil for the, for the table tops. Um, couldn't find a paintbrush to put it on with a paintbrush because Crusoe's added that to his little work collection. <laughs> hidden them somewhere on the farm. We'll find them in about six weeks. All right, well, I have pretty much finished that table. We're gonna look for some, uh, some tiles for this piece here and maybe put some nice flowery tiles. We're not in a hurry to find them. When we do find them, when we get the right ones, we'll certainly be putting them there and we'll show you as well what, what happens and when we, when we finish off the table, perhaps in a later episode somewhere down the line. For now though, we've got some serious problems here on the farm. It is really, really serious too. So funny how quickly things can turn around. Yesterday, we literally felt like we were sat on a gold mine with the water. And within the space of a couple of hours, it's become the most stressful and biggest concern. But I think it's really probably very indicative of how this whole journey is gonna play out as we get to know this farm better. And as we embark on more and more projects. So there's lessons to be learned. Not too much sleep last night. I was lying in bed and I was uh, thinking, what, what is the problem with the water? Why isn't it coming through? And, you know, how can we fix it? We've, we've sent several texts to a, to a plumber, Philippe. Um, he hasn't got back to us yet. It's the weekend. Brilliant. But yeah, it's feeling a little bit stressful now, isn't it? It's a it, bit like... It is. I think it's more the, the fact that we don't know why. Yeah. That's worrying. So we put we put in we put in place yesterday um, the old tank that used to be our water tank here underneath a waterfall um, or a little spring uh, that we've got at the other part of the farm. Okay, we're getting a bit worried about the water. We haven't heard back from the plumber, so it feels like we need to do something. So what are we doing, darling? <laughs> this is the old um, water container that was left in the garage. The spring is still running, so I think the best thing to do would be to fill this old one up, um, you know, have a little bit of a tap in it, and use that water if we really need it, if we get desperate. I mean, it's good to have a contingency, isn't it? morning I'm going to go over there I'm going to finish that off it got too dark to, to set it up yesterday but in terms of water I think we're good for today if we don't get that fixed we're going to be made well we're going to be living out of the old water tank mm. which will involve carrying buckets from one part of the farm all to the way another. over to here yeah the trials and tribulations I suppose of buying an old property uh, hopefully we can get it fixed I mean we're I'm worried to the point of ah uh, man you know we really need water in the next day or two so first plan this morning is to carry on with what i was doing last night yeah um which is get that uh, that water tank sorted underneath the uh, the little spring that we've got and hopefully collect water from there um, and then after that badger the heck out of the plumber <laughs> and see whether we can fiddle around and and work it out for ourselves yeah okay so left this old tank here last night this feels so lovely it smells minty and delicious but look the water on the property has definitely not run out it doesn't look particularly impressive but that's going to fill this tank up i think relatively quickly
Oh, it's hot today, isn't it? It's really hot today. Down through that. Clear it out. Okay, that's a lot of water coming down through there now. In whatever way you look at it, I think it's good to be collecting that water, right? I think Rather so, yeah. than just sinking into the ground here. Yeah. And Okay, I'm trying now. So I undo this. I am yeah, gonna undo this pipe. No air, no water, nothing. Oh, oh God! I was not expecting that. That's bad news. Um, so the the plumber's in Porto. He's got a big job on at the moment, and he's like busy, busy, busy. So he can't get here. And he's like, I don't know what the problem could be. So there was nothing left to do except phone dad. Throughout my life, and even in my adult years, if I ever have a problem with something I know nothing about, I phone my dad. And this felt like it should be no exception. So dad's had an idea, love. If there is an airlock, we have to try and push it back towards the well. It's a lot easier than trying to pull it through. So his idea is to hook up the hose pipe with what little water we've got left in the tank and try and push that back through the system, back to the well, to see Risky. if it's gonna do it. But what that means is that we likely end up with absolutely no water at all. Because it does sound like it's probably an airlock, because of the way it's kind of played out. So hopefully this works. All right, I'll go and set it up. And then I think we gotta try something, haven't we? That's the best idea I've heard. No plumber, so I think we, we've just gotta try it ourselves. We do. All right. Okay. Turn the tap Water's on. It's going through there. I can hear like a bubbling sound, which would suggest there's water coming back. Oh, let's hope this is working. I think I need to go back to John. Moment of truth. Mm, okay, let's switch it on. Hang on, yeah. There's going to be a bit of water coming back, isn't there, first, before we get too excited. Mm. Okay. Oh, please don't stop. <laughs> I think we go away and come back in five minutes and see if it's still I running. feel really nervous. Me too. Wouldn't it be good if, uh, if it's fixed though? You know, and if it, is, if it is fixed, and I'm feeling pretty optimistic right now, especially because you said there were bubbles at the other end, then what I love about that is that between us as a family, we've kind of worked it out. I know. You know, that and mega? we've fixed our own problems, which yeah. is really important in a sustainable farm environment. Yeah, I feel so anxious right now. <laughs> Me too. Like optimistically anxious, right? Yeah. Because... Oh, and our smiles are really big, darling. What if it doesn't work? <laughs> yeah, I know. Because, I mean, that because would be... if it doesn't work, then where do we go from here? Mm, back to the same place we were 10 minutes ago, <laughs> half an hour ago, you know? But the, the, the good thing about all of this is even if it doesn't work, you know, we've had a crack. We tried it. We learned something new as well. Mm. New and we, we, we would just be back in the same place we were half an hour ago if it doesn't work. Nothing ventured, nothing, nothing gained. Ventured, nothing gained. It's been five, five minutes. <laughs> it's probably been two, but it feels like half an hour. Okay, let's wait then. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait a little bit longer. Okay. Should we have a look at how the watermelon lollies came out? Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. Come on, watermelon lollies. Cruise over the words watermelon and lolly. Now, this is definitely not how you make watermelon lollies. Okay. I just put some watermelon slices in the freezer. I can't get it off the plate. Maybe we'll wait until we, uh, and we have it as a celebratory thing, if, if indeed we can celebrate. Okay. She says I'm not very good at being patient. Are you, buddy? <laughs> it's torturing a child. Yeah. I get it all for him. <laughs> oh, I think he's slightly gutted. 
He um. loves watermelon. But this isn't one he can eat in the, at the speed of like lightning, so. Oh, suck it, Bubby. Mmm. Yum, yum. Uh, All right, shall we go and look? I don't hear anything. I do now. I do. That's water still coming. <gasps> does that mean it sinks? <laughs> I think it does. Oh, we love it. Dad, you are the absolute best. I feel like I'm on the A team or something, <laughs> you know? Uh, what's that? I'm, I'm face man, you know? I've just walked down and I've, you know, wow. That's so cool. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Brilliant. We gotta go call dad. Yeah. We think you yeah. are, you might just be an actual legend. Surely. Yes, we have water coming out the pipe. <laughs> On that note, it's probably time to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long one this week. Um, and yeah, we sit at our beautiful new table, still not quite entirely finished, so we'll keep you posted, but it's we've been got a, a super fun project, hasn't it? It has, yeah. We've got a shopping trip to do, I think, in order to find some tiles mm -hmm. that will fit that gap there. Exactly. And just finish it off. Exactly. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching yet again. We are just loving having all of you on board and hearing from you every week. So please do... Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. Remember to leave us a comment because we are trying our very best and I think we're doing pretty well at the moment, replying to everybody. It's lovely to hear from you, your ideas, your thoughts, your advice. Um, fantastic. Keep it coming. Thanks so much. Also appreciated. And if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button and why not join us for this journey? See where this farm takes us. Absolutely. Thanks for being here, folks. We'll see you next week. Be brave. Big, big explore. Always. Mm -hmm.